Good morning student. Myself, Professor Gada Cases from SND College of Engineering and Research Center, Evola. So student, we are learning the final year subject that is the solar and wind energy. So up to the last lecture from unit number 2 that is the solar thermal system and application, we have discussed some topics. That means we have learned some topics from unit number 2 that is solar thermal system and application. So let's see which topics we, we have learned from the unit number 2. So if you see the topics such as what is the solar collectors, then applications of solar collectors, types of solar thermal collectors. In that basically we have seen non-concentrating types of solar collectors that are two types flat plate collectors and evacuated tube collectors so related to the flat plate collector and evacuated tube collector we have seen in the details its analysis also flat plate collectors analysis and evacuated tube collector analysis we have seen in the last lecture so students in the today's lecture we are going to learn the new topics that is solar concentrating collector with its types in the last lecture we have seen solar non-concentrating types of collectors so basically two non-concentrating types of solar collector we have seen that is flat plate collectors and evacuated tube collectors again in the evacuated tube collector two more types of evacuated tube collectors we have seen up to the last lecture so in the today's lecture we are going to study in the detail non-concentrating or concentrating solar collector with its subtypes so just see which are the concentrating and which are the non-concentrating solar collectors up to last lecture non-concentrating solar collectors that is flat plate collectors and evacuated tube collectors so in the evacuated tube collector again we have seen direct flow evacuated tube collectors and heat pipe evacuated tube collectors we also have seen diagram its working principle in the last lecture also so those who have not seen that video you can see that from the channel okay now in the today's lecture we will move towards the concentrating solar thermal collectors now as per the name concentrating solar thermal collector that means what they are directly receiving the solar energy concentrating it and using it to generate the electrical energy that is nothing but the concentrating solar thermal collectors so basically four types of concentrating solar collectors are there first one cpc so what is the long form of that cpc here at the below long form of cpc is given cpc is nothing but compound parabolic concentrated so how that compound parabolic concentrated that is cpc is looking how it is working that we are going to see in the details okay so first type of concentrating collector is nothing but the cpc compound parabolic concentrated then second type of concentrating collector is nothing but the parabolic dish it is like the uh, receiver of the dish okay or receiver of the tv okay so it is nothing but the parabolic dish so how that parabolic dish is there and how it is working that we are going to see in the details related to the parabolic dish so that is the second types of the concentrating collector cpc and parabolic dish then third is nothing but parabolic throw so again in the parabolic throw there are three types that is saf molten molten salt and dsg so what is the saf below uh, there is a full form of saf is given so saf is nothing but the synthetic aromatic fluid so synthetic aromatic fluid is there which is the subtypes of parabolic throw then second one is a molten salt and last one is the dcg dsg so dsg is nothing but the direct steam generation so that's are the three subtypes of parabolic throw that means three main types we have seen cpc parabolic dish and parabolic throw again in the parabolic throw we have seen three subtypes that is saf molten salt and dsg dsg is nothing but direct steam generation and last one that is nothing but the concentrating collectors that is the solar tower 
so total four concentrating collectors are there cpc parabolic dish parabolic through and solar tower that's are the four concentrating collectors are there and again in the third type there are three sub types of concentrating collector saf molten salt dsg the full form of all the uh, saf dsg etc that's are given in the below all of you understand that so in the details we have to learn that four types four uh, types of concentrating collector cpc parabolic dish and parabolic through solar towers so student we will move towards in the detail study of the four types of concentrating collector the solar collector is a device for collecting solar radiations it is a device which transfers the energy to fluid passing in contact with it solar collectors are of two types basically non concentrating type and concentrating type concentrating type collectors are also known as focusing type collectors solar collector with its associated absorber is very essential component in any solar energy conversion system solar energy is converted into usable form either it may be heat or it may be electricity here we'll discuss non concentrating collectors and concentrating collectors in differentiation form with these parameters so first parameter is absorber area absorber means where the solar energy is going to be absorbed so in non concentrating collectors absorber area is same as that of collector area and in concentrating collectors absorber area is much smaller than collector area second parameter is obtained temperature so in non concentrating as it is not going to concentrate the energy the obtained temperature is very less but in concentrating collectors it is much higher next parameter is steam pressure steam pressure if collectors are used to generate steam in non concentrating collectors the steam pressure is very low and in concentrating collectors it is medium talking about efficiency obviously the non concentrating collectors have good efficiency but concentrating collectors have better efficiency than non concentrating collectors talking about concentrating collectors that is focusing type of collectors there are two types first is line focusing and second is point focusing in line focusing the line is a pipe collector and in point focusing the point is a small volume talking about line focusing collector we will discuss the first line focusing collector that is parabolic trough collector as shown in figure you can see that solar radiations are collected over reflecting surface here mirror this is nothing but the reflecting surface you can see that the reflector is in the form of trough with parabolic cross section so this cross section is parabolic and with this length it forms a trough solar radiations are focused along a line when solar radiations falls over this reflector as it is parabolic in cross section they are concentrated at this focal axis and this is nothing but a line and from at this line there is a pipe which carries the fluid to be heated mostly cylindrical parabolic concentrators are used so mostly the these concentrators means these reflectors are cylindrical parabolic collector pipe means this black in color this pipe is with selective absorber coating so that 
it must absorb all the radiations falling on it solar radiations when incident on reflector get reflected from that surface then these reflected radiations are concentrated on that focal axis where the pipe is situated at focal axis the pipe carries fluid that is to be heated and due to radiations fluid gets heated in this way the solar energy is converted into heat energy with the help of solar collector this is the actual photo of parabolic trough collector you can see this is the pipe from which the fluid is flowing and this surface having parabolic cross section 